Hello everybody, you know what this is. We're gonna look at a thread up box. Let's get right into it. And welcome back. Uh, so this is a thread up box. It is 30 pieces of denim uh, and it cost us $48. So um, actually, wow, that's um, less than two bucks a piece. So that's uh, really good, but it is a, it is a rescue box. So some of the pieces might not, might have some, uh, well, they might need some rescuing. All right, but let's look right in. Let's just jump in. Okay. Up first is a pair of Levi's, and that is an that is a really big Levi's label. I've never seen a label from Levi's like that. Uh, these are skinny five one ones. Um, they are a thirty six waist, a thirty length. Um, they look like men's jeans. Uh, normally, uh, normally you don't see the waist and length on the. Uh, men's jeans uh so or normally you do see that on the men's jeans and you don't see that on the women's jeans so these appear to be men's jeans um oh yeah those definitely uh and uh it's looking at the bottom i don't see a whole lot of fraying so um pretty good pair of jeans uh good solid pair i think we normally get um around 10 to 15 for our levi's um we do get more if they're uh, certain styles, uh, but definitely a good, definitely off to a good start. All right, up next we have a Hester and Orchid, a large, and this is a denim shirt. Um, I'm not familiar with the brand, um, being that it's a large, maybe that's a men's shirt. Well, let's see, I can just check. Yep, the Oh no, the buttons are on the left, which means it's a woman's shirt. It is buttoned up because we don't have buttons to um, keep the collar down. And looking at the sleeves um, with the uh, button right there to keep the sleeve rolled up, that is, that is not something you see on a whole lot of men's shirts. So this is a woman's shirt, um, denim shirt. I don't see, I don't see any flaws in it, so. I think uh, I think that'll do nicely. Um, I'll just set that aside because I like to keep all the jeans in one box and shirts in other boxes. Um, okay, up next we have another denim button down or button up shirt. Uh, this one is a J Crew. It is a XXS. So extra, extra small, and it looks to be another women's shirt. Um, let's see. Well, we can look at the materials here. It's 100% cotton. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any flaws. Um, I know one thing you need to check uh, when you're looking at pieces that have the um, sewn on buttons as opposed to like the metal buttons is you need to make sure that each button is actually attached um the buttons will come undone and they'll start to hang on by a thread and then they'll just fall off and so and all these buttons appear to be actually on really good um and it still has these spare buttons on the inside so i'm not really sure i don't think this piece needs rescuing either um yeah so i'm so far, we are off to an outstanding start with this box. Um, maybe better than our uh, thread up versus than our versus box we did. Okay, up next we have a Talbots. Um, these are a pair of women's jeans. Uh, they are a size eight boot cut. Um, and yeah, looking at them, another. Another good pair of jeans. Um, flawless five pocket. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's accurate. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, I mean, I, we haven't found like a real like standout high end um, pair of jeans in here yet, but a lot of good, a lot of good bread and butter stuff. That's definitely gonna that'll definitely sell. Okay, up next we have a Gap. Uh, these are a size 14. Uh, they are a Capri. Um, so, not... Capris don't really tend to do as well as full-length jeans. Uh, oh, just a little fuzz on there. I thought that might be a flaw. Um, yeah, another, another good pair of jeans. Um, well, another Capri. So that's probably not going to do as well, but... Um, Good condition, nonetheless. All right, what is this? Transmissa? Transmisso? Transmisso? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how accents work. I never took uh, Spanish in high school. I barely took French. Um, oh, that's interesting. It says Finn along the uh, back belt loop. It does have these jewels um, accenting some of the spots, but I can see a couple flaws. Um, one, right there, those that little string of jewels is coming off, and um, I noticed this when I shot it. There's holes for buttons there, but there's no buttons, um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, We'll probably, we might try to fix that, although I don't know what we can do if we don't have buttons. I'm not sure if this is a flaw or not, but if you look at the uh, buttons that are on this interesting belt, bu- built-in belt that it has, um, they're mismatched. So I don't know if that's intentional or not. Um, I mean, they're mismatched. It does... Uh, yeah, it looks like this top one was um, actually sewn on where this one was uh, has the backer and it's pressed. So this one was probably the original and then this one was sewed on. So um, definitely going to need some really, really interesting piece, but definitely a piece that's going to need some love. So I don't know what we'll do with that, um, if we'll fix it up or if we'll cut our losses and... Um, Resell it. It's probably going to depend on the brand. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're going to try to get through 15 pairs of jeans, and that was number six. Okay, up next we have a Soho uh, curvy leg, curvy legging. Um, so these are, in fact, jeggings. They are a size four. Um, and again, um, Soho's not a. I don't know that we've ever sold a pair of Soho. I don't know that we actually have any Soho listed. Um, It's not a brand we normally pick up. It's uh, pretty common, but, you know, I did say that um, the Gloria Vander, Vander, whatever her name is, um, I did did comment on those jeans in the last thread up jean box I did, and they ended up selling, like, the day after I recorded that video, so you just never know. All right. Moving right along, these look a little shorter, uh, so they might be capris, or they might just be for a smaller person. They are some Forever 21. Um, They have that stretch, so they might be jeggings rather than uh, full-on jeans. And I don't... I don't see a care tag or a size tag in here, so we will have to measure those. But I'm also um, again checking the bottom. Uh, that's where typically where you see wear on jeans. Uh, not so much on jeggings, but yeah, uh, another another good pair. But a pair we will have to measure. All right. Okay. Here we go. This might be the first good brand. Well, great brand. Mm, something between good and great. Uh, this is Lucky Brand. Uh, these are. 38 by 30, so they are a 36L, huh, vintage straight. Um, yeah, uh, 
Uh, so a nice pair of Lucky Jeans. Um, Lucky Jeans is a pretty good brand. Um, not quite top of the line, but definitely sells for just a little bit more than um, other jeans. So uh, I'm really happy about this. Um, and yeah, you can see right along there, no, no flaws along the bottom. Um, I don't see any other flaws, and it still has the, uh, still has, um, that little, uh, label on the back. Um, that's another thing that you have to check. Those, those have a tendency to peel off, um, or completely fall off. So, if it has that, it's another sign that it's in good condition. All right, let's see. This is a... Hmm. Um, this is a Uniqlo, Uniqlo, Q-L-O, I don't know that that's how to pronounce it. I recognize that, um, recognize that part of the brand. Uh, if I look, I would say look at the tag, but you see the tag has completely faded. Um, but still some stuff on the care tag. They are... They are size 34 by 34. Um, another good pair of jeans. Um, I do think we did recently sell a pair of these jeans. So um, this is a brand that we have sold. I can't remember what we actually uh, sold it for. So I don't know if it's low or high. I believe it was just in our typical range, which is um, anywhere from like 10 to $20. Is our, uh, that's our typical range that we sell. Uh, with the jeans. Okay, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, how many, seven, eight. Um, yeah, we'll say eight. If there's an, if there's one less in this video and one more in the next one, that's fine. Okay, so up next we have a Levi's straight fit and the five, five oh five. So that's that's really good. Um, that's that's definitely the um, number I always look for when I'm outsourcing for Levi's. Um, they are, as you can see from the label here, 36 by 32. Um, and as I have said, um, I think that means these are men. Yeah, these are men's jeans. Um, 505s are men's. Um, anyway, um, I'm not seeing any flaws. Uh, I do notice that you will notice these are black, so as opposed to the blue, so I don't know if that will affect the sales or not. Um, I think the black jeans are a bit rarer, so maybe that's good, but you don't see a lot of people wearing black jeans, so maybe that's bad. All right, we're gonna say that was we're gonna say that was number gene number nine. Uh, if you've been keeping track, um, good for you. <laughs> There's really, I don't have any kind of chat or anything up, so, and I'm not streaming this live, so there's really nothing that Keeping Track would do uh, other than uh, just embarrassing me. All right, up next, these are American Eagle Stretch. Um, so they're not quite jeggings, but they're a little bit, they have just a little bit of stretch that more than a typical jean. Um, they are skinny. Well, they say skinny there, but if you can read on the care tag, it says too regular. So I guess they're regular skinny as opposed to extra skinny, and they are a size two. Um, yeah, another pair of jeans in good condition. Um, I know that that's the uh, yeah. This uh, this says a re it's a rescue box, but you know, other than like that one pair, we haven't really seen any jeans that need a lot of work. Okay, up next we have a Lauren Conrad, uh, size 6, pair of shorts, um, green shorts, uh, I do believe that these are shorts and we're not, yeah, because you can see, um, you can see they weren't, um, just, they weren't cut off, you can actually see that the, uh, they were stitched and then like kind of frayed. So, so an actual pair of shorts and not, not just cutoffs, um, which is good because
which is good because if it's you don't want to sell modified stuff you want to sell stuff that's unmodified so i don't know what i'm talking about a uh, nice pair of shorts definitely should do good for um the upcoming summer all right up next i haven't heard of this brand a jolt uh size one and there yeah i haven't heard of this brand um and nice big button with the name right on there uh you can't really read it um in the camera it just says jolt um anyway uh one thing i will notice i'm missing the uh label on the back and you can clearly see that there was a label there because it's kind of not faded where it was but other than that um pretty good condition just a little bit faded um no major no major holes no major um fraying around the around the ankles yeah no oh, pretty good okay up next we have a bongo high-waisted skinny size five um those are another pair of black jeans uh, like i said i don't know if uh, that's good or bad um, i don't think we've sold enough pairs of black jeans or even listed enough pairs of black jeans to really know if that's um yeah <laughs> to really know how that affects it uh, but once again not a lot of damage so pretty good that was say that was 11 so we'll do we'll do four more here okay up next we have a pair of blank nyc um yeah i showed the back label because i don't see a uh Ooh, I don't see a label in there. Oh, I guess I got the care tag right there, which the care tags are a little bit hard to read in the light, but there we go. Um, they feel a little stretchy. Uh, see if I can find the materials. Yeah, huh. 91% 7% polyester, 2%. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it feels like they're stretchy, but um, I don't know what's giving it that stretch. Probably not the polyester or the cotton. Um, anyway, uh, it does have a little wear in the knee, although, yeah, that doesn't look like it was part of the design. But it might be. Um, we'll have to look up the, see if we can find these jeans. Um, See if we can find like a stock photo of these jeans just to see if uh, if those holes are intentional or not. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess not. Um, so we'll probably we'll probably list them as distressed. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're getting to some of the things that need rescued. Um, up next we have an and ampersand denim. Uh, that's really not showing up at all. Uh, understand denim. There we go. Uh, these are um, size 28. They are boyfriend low waist. Um, so the boyfriend cut, uh, the boyfriend jeans or boyfriend um, shirts, they're designed to fit a little bit more like men's jeans, but still, still uh, made for a woman. Um, and as you can see at the bottom, there's some fraying around the ankles, uh, so that will definitely affect it. Uh, there's some fraying around the pockets. Um, yeah, it's uh, no that that looks intentional. There's that little um, bit of, bit of wear right there, but that that looks like intentional distress. Uh, so yeah, I'm I don't know. Um, maybe we'll see if uh, we can maybe we'll see if we can put those in a bundle. I always say that, and we, we never end up bundling stuff, and then the stuff I say we're going to lot, we just end up selling full price. All right, up next we have a Gap legging jean, so a pair of Gap uh, jeggings. Um, 
and we're back to looking at yeah these um these look pretty good um none of that none of the distress which you really can't distress jiggings um too much anyway a uh, really good condition uh it is missing the back label right there and uh you can see the stitching so there was something there but um other than that they look like they're in pretty good condition right i'm getting quite the stack of jeans it's starting to lean so we're only going to do a few more and then we're going to cut it off and we'll do the rest in a part two okay so up next we have an American Eagle. These are artist uh, zeros. Um, they do say they're stretch, but you know it's just doesn't feel very stretchy. Uh, they do have a little stain right there, um, so probably have to wash those. See if I can get that out with uh, some of the some of the good chemicals. Um, it has stains anywhere else? No, I don't see any stains anywhere else, so, uh, probably just that one. Um, maybe it'll come out, maybe it won't. Um, I'll start a second stack. All right, last, we have a pair of Old Navy boot cuts, size 6. Um, and... Yeah, um, nice pair of jeans to end on. Um, nothing too, uh, nothing too spectacular about them. No. Just gotta do a little little pose for the thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, nothing too, uh, nothing too bad. Nothing, but they are old navy, so they'll probably they'll probably go. Somewhere around ten, fifteen dollars. Old Navy is one of those. Um, it's one of those brands that doesn't go for a lot, but they do tend to sell. All right, so um, that's I'm. This box was listed as a DIY a rescue box, but um, a lot of those jeans looked like they are just uh, good to go. I mean, we did have a couple that had some um, some distressed some holes where there shouldn't be holes. Uh, we had that one pair that um, was really unique, but uh, again, um, flawed. Uh, looked like someone had really enjoyed that pair of pants and wanted to just keep it together as long as they could. Um, yeah, but other than that, um, pretty good, uh, pretty good jean box. Um, so I'll be back with part two, um, which will be later this week. Um, until then, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff is down below, and I'll see you later. Alright, um, stick around, um, I'll put the, put the link to part two right up there, so, um, Go ahead and click that and you can see how this, this box ends. <laughs>